A firestorm in Montgomery County. Parishioners of a church in Pottstown are finding out their pastor is a convicted sex offender. Police say he violated Megan's Law. WFMZ's Mike Lowe is live in the newsroom with more. Mike. Good evening, that's right. Guy Jones, the pastor of the City of Refuge Community Baptist Church in Pottstown, is behind bars tonight for, fi for failing to register as a sex offender under Megan's Law. He raped an eight-year-old girl, and he went to state prison for that. And that was what made him a required registrant under Megan's Law. Pastor Guy Jones was convicted of raping a kid back in 1991. I was shocked. I, very shocked. We had no idea. Since June of 2006, he had run the City of Refuge Baptist Church out of the gymnasium of the Pottstown YWCA on King Street, where he rented space. He had a need to hold his church, and we had space here. The YWCA runs several programs for kids, but never on the weekends. Investigators say children never came into contact with Jones at the YWCA. We do not put our children nor families in harm's way in any way. Jones lives here in the 100 block of Mennonite Road in Upper Providence Township, Montgomery County. He was also facing charges in that township where police say he exposed himself to another 8-year-old girl in 2007 and asked her to touch him inappropriately. Because of his earlier conviction, he was forced to register as a sex offender. What's really valuable about Megan's Law registration is that it allows law enforcement to monitor where someone is. But Jones failed to register when he started the church in Pottstown. Someone tipped off police and they arrested him. This is someone that we feel is a danger to the community and a danger to children. We're going to do everything in our power to make sure that he does not have access to any child. Now, the DA has asked a judge to revoke Jones's half million dollars bail so that he cannot get out of prison. Jones's next hearing is scheduled for later this month. Reporting live tonight in the newsroom, Mike Lowe, 69 News.